everybody, welcome back. My name is Chris, and today we're going to give you a glimpse inside this package right here. It showed up today in the mail, and I couldn't be more pumped about it to open it and share it with you guys. As you can tell by the thumbnail, it's made by a certain content creator. You guys may have heard of him. His name is Chris. It's a good name, by the way. And I can't wait to get into this thing, but I haven't opened it yet. I like to open it on film just so I can share it with you. So here we go. All right, y'all. Well, here it is. Comes in a nice, oh, it's not even Ziploc. I just gotta cut the bag open. Oh my goodness. That thing has some weight to it, man. Now, this, this thing right here is a fire piston that was developed by a gentleman named Chris on the ClickSpring YouTube channel. The design is his. And it's manufactured by John Saunders at NYCNC up in Zanesville, Ohio. Now how this works is here's the piston. There's the actual, actual body of the tube here. There's an O-ring. Looks like it's been oiled already. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good fit. Uh, what you do is you simply put some of this char cloth inside this little hole here. Now, I haven't tried this yet, and I was going to give it a go here on film. Okay, so we're going to take some of this char cloth here, and we're going to place it right here on the end of the brass rod. We're going to take the rod and insert it right into there. And we should have a good seal. So the idea is with a really powerful downstroke, we're going to create fire. Okay, so here we go. Check that out. Well, I'd call that a success. There's a cool feature I'm gonna show you as well. If you've seen this video, you know about this, but he recommends that you take a piece of char cloth and store it in some aluminum foil or aluminium foil, depending on where you're from. Okay. That's plenty big. I don't want to make this too large because then it won't freely go in and out of this chamber. So, that's a pretty cool feature. So you always got something ready to go in case you ever need to start a fire. So, it's simply goes back you want to put the piston rod in first and then screw on that head gasket if you will again because that will create a vacuum this thing is awesome what a great collaboration john chris y'all did an awesome job with this thing i am super excited to get one of the first 20 that were made after the beta test this is amazing. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for this one. This thing is an absolute work of art. I wanna thank Chris from the channel ClickSpring. You are a genius, sir. I mean, I don't know if you guys have ever seen his videos. I'm gonna link his channel down below. The guy has probably the most polished and well-executed and well-narrated videos on YouTube. He has a machine shop down under. I believe he's from Australia. And this guy, you gotta check him out. Words can't describe what this guy does. So go check his channel out. Also, John from NYCNC, your team, you manufacture this thing very well. That collaboration that you guys worked on, this is great. 
I'm gonna link his channel down below too. So, a quick channel update. I'm gonna be in Oklahoma on the 23rd and 24th of June in a little town called Skiatook, I believe is how you pronounce it. It's about 20 miles north of Tulsa, and it's the Video Woodworkers Live Woodworking event featuring a lot of YouTubers, a lot of, a lot of guys I've been watching for years, and I'm super excited to get up there and shake hands and to meet these guys as well. It's put on by Nick Ferry. I'm gonna link his channel down below as well. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. This wasn't a build video, but I got some more over here. Of course, I always invite you to subscribe to the channel. And again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you on the next one.